Okay, welcome back to the Sabaya Casino Resort Hotel here. We have one of the ABU lightweight titles on the line right now. It's Lungo Sutamala. He takes on David Rajili, the pressure cooker versus the dangerous Darky. This will be a fantastic fight. This is the fight, Philip, that I've really been looking forward to all night. And I can't wait to see this fight. I cannot wait, wait also to see this fight because I spoke to both Bosa today. You know, you can see they're very excited and they want to dish it out. They want to show their skill. And I think this is going to be a good fight for, for the night. We are going to see more punches, more speed, more head moving. At the end of the day, is who wants it most is belt. I spoke to David Vigili's trainer earlier and he said, look, Lunga Sitsamana is a good. We know he's got a good amateur background, but regardless, we have the experience. Okay, let's hand over to our announcer who's going to introduce the fighters, Sifu, for this vacant ABU South Lightweight title. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrated Africa Day yesterday, we bring you the third of our African series, boxing series, brought to you by Kalakoda Boxing Promotions in association with Quest Sports. And this is Friday, Friday night. And we are coming to you live from Sibaya Casino. And this next contest, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of action for the vacant ABU South Lightweight Championship. And to all of you in attendance and the millions watching at home, we are on fire. And this is Jungle Warfare. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring in first to the ring the first of our two contestants for this vacant APU South lightweight title. Let's bring from Cape Town the first of our pugilists, Lunga Preja Kuka Sitemela. Here we go. Here's Lungus to Tamala. Uh, now, you know, we've seen him at the last two Friday night fights. Uh, at the Wild Coast, he looked fantastic. Got a stoppage. At Carnival City, he looked even better. Got a stoppage early there. I can't wait to see what Lungus to Tamala has to offer. There's a beautiful belt, the ABU title on the line here. And I can't wait to see what both of them have. He's looked so good in his recent outings, but this is the step up from him. So Let's be honest, this is the big step up. He's never gone the distance, confident. and he's also I mean, used to knocking who's... people out. What happens when he doesn't get the knockout? We'll see. It's a big step for him. It's a big title. Step. But that's what it should be, isn't it? Title fights should be big, big steps. It shouldn't be easy. And you must remember one thing that uh, um, staying for the title is another step that, you know, it's a dream of each and every boxer in the whole world. Each boxer, they, they want to be, have, they want to hold something. So this is a big step for them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third edition of our Pan-African Boxing Series. And you are watching Quest Sports, and this is Friday Fight Night. And brought to you proudly by Kalakoda Promotions. And now, let's call to the ring his opponent from Deben, David Dangerous Rajuili. I was so hard here to hear from this local favorite. My grandma didn't even from believe Durban me. himself, David Rujili. Um, he looks ready. He, he really is. I mean, I spoke to his trainer. They said, look, he's, he's in fantastic oh, condition. Son. He's been on the weight for one week. And he wow. said, that's how long he's been on the weight. For one week. He didn't lose weight to, to make this fight. He's been on the weight for one week. 
and he's been ready, he's been able to eat whatever he wants. They think he's going to win this, I've been told. They think he's going to win this quite easy. It shocks me, but we'll see. That's beautiful. When a guy a wish he was on his way, that's beautiful. And we believe that one of the bosses is like that. He brings everything in a ring. That like losing a weight a day of the way, and then lose the weight there is a problem. This just has the feel of a big fight. I, I mean, look, we had a fantastic undercard, some great fights. This one is about now, and this is AB title that's on the line. And I, this is going to be a great, great fight. It's going to be a great fight today, you know, indeed, for the title ABU. You know, this belt reminds me of the WBC, the green belt. I call it the green belt of Africa. Okay, let's go to our MC. I'll introduce both fighters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's call to the ring the former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Francois Puerta. Both are into the ring. With, there's a promoter, Steve Calacoda. Francis Bofa, as we were speaking earlier, and yeah. he said he still wants one more fight against Sonny <laughs> Bill Williams. Wow. Not happy about the fight out and before. He wants one more fight, and he still is in relatively good shape. Look, he's looking in good shape always, you know, um, and, and, and I believe once a boxer, he always want to get inside the ring and dish it out. Okay, let's go to our MC again, Sipo, for further introductions. And ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Quest Sports, and this is Friday Fight Night. This contest, 12 rounds of action for the vacant ABU South Lightweight Championship. And at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to ask every one of you to stand up for the singing of the South African National Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, to those in attendance and the millions watching at home, this is Kwese Friday Fight Nights, and you're watching Kwese Sports. And this bout brought to you proudly by Kalakoda Promotions. And we're coming to you live from Sibaya Casino in KwaZulu Natal. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first your fight supervisor for the ABU, Dr. Peter Ngatani, and your timekeeper for this contest, Gert Helberg, your ringside physicians, 
Dr. Buyi Mabaso and Dr. Zandile Lukwabe. And now introducing your ringside judges for this contest, Eric Koza, Ben Napai, and Sipo Zondo. And the third man in the ring, none other than Tabo Spampul. And here we go, 12 rounds of action for the ABU South lightweight title. And we introduce the boxers. He will answer the bell from the red corner. He wears the black and gold trunks. His official weight coming into this contest, 60.80 kilograms. His record as a boxer, an unblemished four fights with four wins, four of those wins via the short route. Ladies and gentlemen, he hails from Cape Town. Let's give it up for Lunga Prejakuka Sitemela. And we now go to the blue corner and we introduce his opponent for this vacant ABU lightweight title fight. And he wears the white and blue trunks. His official weight coming into this contest, 61 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, his fight record, 16 contested fights with, one, with nine wins, one knockout, six losses, and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, from Devon, let's welcome David Dangerous Rajuili. Boxers. Okay, so here we go. It's the big one. ABU South lightweight title on the line. Both fighters looking in amazing shape. Let's listen to what the referee has to say to both. Boxers, all you need is a clean fight. Obey my, to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Wish you good luck, chickens. Good luck. Very simple. Obey my commands <laughs> and good luck. And dig it out. Both of them look in amazing Boxing. shape. Let's see here. That Rajidi comes out really fast. Lunga said tomorrow on the jab as well already. Lunga Stimela, if you remember, he fought last month in Kalimba City and he won his fight. So he's hungry to dish it out to become a champion tonight. Sitamala looks so composed as the boxer. Honestly, I know it's only 20 seconds, but just looks composed. The way Rajuli ran over to him and tried to rush him, he just, just stepped to one side and just looked composed. Looks throwing the great jab there. Great body shot there early as well. Great body shot. Then, if you check, you know, both boxers are hungry to become you know, champions. Oh, good, nice little uppercut there from Dave Rajuli. Just missed. But Sitamala needs to be careful there. The uppercut was. He's thrown that twice now, so that was a very good uppercut. Rajuli must keep his jab moving every time if he doesn't want Stimela to come, to come in. So you can see Stimela is a mover while he's always moving around, jumping around. He's very composed. You know, you can see that he only... Sitamala has found a home for that body shot now. He's thrown that twice. That body shot here, they're both hooking and both of them landed there, but... Oh, it's a nice little, little body and head there from Rajuli. <laughs> Oh, good this shot from Sitamala. This fight is moving very fast. You can see they're throwing punches, you know, both of them. There's no one saying, no, I'm not throwing. They're throwing back to each other. It's a bit of a miss there. Good shot from Sitamala. They're both of them throwing good jabs. Both really good. They both, are both very good operators. Both of them have very, very good training. You can kind of see it. Here. They are well this is trained. Good action this is as well. Both of them throwing good stuff. Sitamana lands a clean left hook there. They are well trained. Well. Sitamana needs to get out of that corner. Can't stay in that corner and work. Rajuli's got power. He needs to get away from that corner. Rajuli, what he has to do, he has to use his jab more every time. But you can see these two boxers. Um, are they, they are well polished by the trainers. They know what when to, to clinch, you know, to each other. They oh, know nice what to throw body punches. shot again from Sitamala. I'm telling you, he's found a home for that body shot. Oh, beautiful. They, 
those are the kind of body shots that they catch up into you in round six or seven. It's not now. Six not or seven, your legs start going. It's because of those body goal. shots. The legs, and that's why I say body, it, it, it's very important for a boxer to hit the body, but body, you know, it, it, it brings your guts down after they uh, punish the body. So you go with the body, you punish the body, you go up and punish it. You can definitely see Sitamala is the better of the box of the two. That amateur background experience he's got, he knows that the throw his punches a bit more. Doesn't mean he's the best in terms of professional, but in terms of who's a better boxer, you can clearly see Sitamala throws his combinations very well. Rajulio, he must push, but he must make sure that he's pushing Sitamala back every time. Good round. Beautiful round. Good there. round. First round for me for Sitamala, but that's a, that's a good round. Sitamala's corner very happy there. He just kind of nodded his head as he came into the ring there. He's happy. Let's see what Sitamala's corner has to say. Are you feeling about fighting him there? Fighting from the jam now. He goes down, comes up. We'll see some of the action from the first round. Oh. Both, of them, both of them hunting for there, but then Sitamala goes for the body there again. Well, good little shot from Dad Rajuli there as well. But you see, Rajuli, what he's doing there, he's doing very well, but he's going to the body also. Steve Mello said, oh, I'm going to the body, I'm going to the body also. So the exchange blows very good, very nice. It's a bit of a miss there. They've Good looked round. a bit composed, these two boxes. Well, what do you make of this when some fighters stand in the corner and some fighters sit in the corner? Well, what do you make of that? Should you always sit in the corner between rounds? Some Save of, your legs uh, a bit? Or? Some of the boxers is about intimidating your opponent. Say, look, I'm on tired, I'm strong. I'll yeah. show you that I'm coming. Okay. That's almost a mind game thing. It's really, a mind thing. You know, in the ring, they always use your mind always. My <laughs> mind game. Good shot early there. I'm sitting on. Let's have a look again. Well, both of them yeah, land at exactly the same time. Same time. Oh, you, you, you both see. quite similar in styles. Both um, almost mirror mirror each other a bit. Probably maybe they've spat you know to each other once, you know, so they know each other. But at the end of the day, it's about changing the, the strategy there inside the ring. So let's see what's gonna happen. Similar to be composed uses jab more and more. Ooh, nice, nice, nice shot there from Sitamala. He, he needs to. Um, he needs to be careful when he throws his right, especially his left hand. When he throws his jab, he leaves himself wide open. It's like the jab stays out there for far too long. And I can see Rajuli countering that. He's got to be careful. I He's got a learn friend. Oh, that's a good little overhand right there. there. It's the best punch of the fight so far. Good overhand right. It's we'll see that one again at the end of the round. Combination inside there. Look at that. He's throwing his overarm on top of the head. Nice body hand combination. Referee's got to say something there. Rajuli's doing smart. He's holding in. He's holding the left hand, the right hand. Sorry, you. <laughs> Sitamala there. Similarly, if you push back with this jab, he must not allow Rajuli to come in the inside. Yeah. The beautiful shot then there from Sitamala arm. as well. Rajuli looks like he's. He, he, I wouldn't say he's running out of ideas, but what he's doing so far isn't working. They might need to go to Plan B already here because Sitamala looks like he's relatively in control of this fight so far. I know it's very early, but in terms of forcing his pace and dictating, he seems to be in control. He's in control indeed, because he knows if he's not in control, Rajuli's going to come more and more. But when he says Simela, Simela is clever. He gets his head oh, and he works to come out. that's a great shot from Sitamala. is looking really good here. He's landing a three good four good shots. You can see the hands are up there. Simela is, is knowing that he has to protect himself always when he's in the inside, which is it, clever. A beautiful one, two there. The pace that both of them are setting is ferocious here. I don't know how many punches they both throw in this oh, round alone, left. but <laughs> wow. it's a lot. They have to be super fit to keep this up for 12 rounds. You know, it's what I love about this uh, in a small weight, you know. They, they come there, they throw punches all over every time. They don't get tired. The end speed of Steve Miller is there. The end speed of, of oh, both of them is nice there. little shots there, just above us here from Sitamala. Really don't want oh, to beautiful them. right there from there. Last 10 seconds here, and it's almost total direction from both. David Rajuli's getting his shots in, but Sitamala always yeah. seems to... Oh, that's a good little shot from David. Ten oh, seconds there, two from there. David Rajuli. He, he, he wobbled no, 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 again, no, 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 no punch there. Oh. He wobbled him a bit there. Wow! Again, um, David Rajuli stands in the corner. And now let me tell you something. If this is for mind games, you might as well stop it right now. 
<laughs> You're tired, have a seat. It's ridiculous. You know what? It's a mind game. They've seen it happen every time in the boxers. So they would do it also. He said, hey, I'm going to show you that I'm not tired, I'm strong. So Samala needs to be careful. I thought he was winning that round quite comfortably into the last sort of 15, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. He can't be, he can't afford to get caught like that. He's got to be careful. And Rajuli has got the power as well. So Samala is not the only one that can punch here. Rajuli can also punch. Samala is ready, he's ready to dish it out. You can see him. He wants to go. He doesn't want to sit. He always wants to stand oh, on the ground. Oh, that was the beautiful, beautiful overhand. Time. Overhand right there. Box. Okay, round three of this 12-round fight. Remember, it's the vacant ABU South lightweight title. Remember, this is a this is a governing body that gets you into the WBC See. rankings as well now. There's that yeah. affiliation. Wow. So it's a very important what title What beautiful ties there. Rajul is looking very composed. He's, no, he's throwing punches and doesn't want to back up at all. He said, this is mine. I want to win this title also. Steve Mellon must use his jab. He must just wait for Rajul to throw. He must use his jab. You see, the other thing that I'm seeing from um, Steve Mellon, his left hand is down here, same style as Mayweather, and I don't know if that's right for him to do for now. But he might get caught with the right punch. Um, what I can clearly see, Dave Rajuli has changed up exactly what he was doing in the first two rounds. He was standing off to Tamara. Now we can see he's really he's pushing into the, the ropes. Then. And they're both landing. Then. Great shots at exactly the same punches. time. Rajuli is throwing big punches to Stimela. You know, I see this fight. It might not go 12 rounds the way they are dishing the punches out this year. Two gentlemen here. Somebody has to go down. Round three. Good action there from Sitsamana. Oh, he's Beautiful land, from he's land about four from or five. The side there. Oh, he lands Another one on the body there. He's definitely hurt. He's above us Beautiful here. Punches. He's definitely hurt. Sitsamana's got to take a step back. Like, oh. But he could take the punches. You know, he took the punches. Beautifully. You know, do you want to go down? He was hit, yes, he caught, caught, but he took them quietly. Nice. He's missing there with the right. Rajuli. David Rajuli's style, obviously, he's just very much come forward, come forward, come forward. And that, that's good in a six or seven round fight. I don't know. Can he can do can he do that for 12 rounds? I'm not sure. You've got to be super fit. Oh, that's oh, a great shot from Sitsamala. Two shots. You can Three. see he's he's hurting him again. Him again. You can see Rajuli must step back, try to box. Don't try to rumble, you know, your opponent inside there. Just try to box. But what is Rajuli doing just going forward? And it's getting published a little bit with punches. Stimela is throwing good punches in the inside there. Rajuli must just make sure that you know, his hands are up. He's not getting hurt. For everything that um, Rajuli is thrown over Sitamala, Sitamala still looks composed. You look Very at him, you watch him, he still looks composed. He's throwing great combinations. I see a bit of head places there. Stimela there. Putting his he must put his hands up, oh, Stimela. Oh. On the belt, and they both nod at each other like, come on. More, Those are great more. touches. Great action. This is what I love about the, the, this weight. Fantastic. Let's have a look at some of the action from that round. It's a good shot there from Rajuli. Rajuli comes in there. Oh, beautiful that uppercut. Nice beautiful uppercut. So Samara took that well. Oh, man. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a, that's a nice little right. right there. Then he lands a left as well. And then he lands another right. Good action. Wow. That's, what, that's the difference between the two. Sitsamana seems to be throwing in combination. Look, he throws three or four punch combinations. Yes. Rajuli just seems to try and land that one. Rajuli, what he's doing, he's throwing, he wants to throw accurate punches, and the landing ones. And it's what, what he's doing. But what, like I said, here we see, so now we see, we, we're looking at the good fight. Fox. Okay, here we go, round four. Um, I've got all three rounds to Samada so far. Look, they've been close, and I think Dad Rajuli is it's, it's very, very close. But I just think the cleaner work is from Sitamala. Yeah. Okay. 
beautiful body punches from Sitimela in the inside. There we go. Rajoli's got a beautiful double jab. Double jab. Their punch looks very composed, both of them. I've noticed that Rajuli likes to hold every time he gets close, and you wonder if he's already starting to feel the pace a bit. This is a ferocious pace that they've set in the first four rounds of this fight, and you kind of just wonder, can he last that pace? I've said his style of come forward, come forward is very difficult, and now he seems to be on the back foot a bit more, and I, I wonder mm -hmm. if he was feeding the pace a bit. The pace is getting hard now, and it's only round number four. We we'll just see when it goes to another round if it's gonna start to go back also. But end of the day, my father is his trick, said to trick in Rajuli back. So let's see what's gonna happen. Beautiful combination there from Timela. So Timela is a really good practitioner, honestly. He throws him nearly everything. He look, his, his jab is fantastic. His he throws hooks really to composed. the body. It's really good. He does it. He does mix up very, very well. He got the uppercut, he sneaks the uppercut there, he tries to sneak it in again. He really does mix his, his punches up well. And I think Rajuli needs to mix up as well to confuse Sitamara a bit more. I think it's a bit obvious what Rajuli's doing. That was a good uppercut from Rajuli. Rajuli must go on the body. He must throw more, more punches on the body there and go up. He must just stand. He must just, he must more now. When he throws oh, that's up, a good little punches cross there. there. Look at that. I think Sitamara is starting to Oh, oh that's beautiful! A very big shot from, from Sitamara. Huge shot there. Rajuli done well to just take but that and come Rajuli forward. Rajuli took it. Nicely that punch, you know. I always call it when a boxer can take a punch, you swallow it. You swallow it to your stomach, you don't feel the punch. A beautiful again right there. This fight, I can I don't I see them going full 12 rounds. Well, this is the dishing out. Oh, nice little shot from Rajuli there. To the the back of Sitamada. But Sitamada them. just looks a lot stronger, a lot faster right now. It looks it just looks a lot fresher as well of the two. Rajuli is he, going forward, he's throwing Battle of punches every time one's in the inside, and they're hitting Stimela. I think um, Rajuli's corner are banking on this going past the sixth round. Remember, oh, Sitamala has never again. been beyond six rounds before. Where yeah. Rajuli's been beyond 12 rounds, four. He's gone the distance four times. So I think they're hoping that Rajuli can take Sitamala into deep waters later on. Another great round there. Beautiful Rajuli round. stuck his tongue out there. <laughs> yeah, and he's got to do a bit more than that. He's got to do a bit more than come forward. But uh, as a great round. Let's see if we can see some of the some of the shots from that previous round. Look at that. A miss oh, and a nice little shot from there. Stiffen his legs a little bit there as well. Nice right again on top of the head there on the stomach. Look at that. Beautiful oh, punches in the inside. And the straight there, and the straight there again. He must be very careful. Right, Julie, when it's in the inside, when it comes out, he must push his hands up. Because always when it comes out, out, his hands are down. I think they have a problem in Rajuli's corner. I really do. I think that um, I understand the tactics. I understand what they're trying to do, but he needs to do. He needs to mix it up a bit more. He needs to. You can't just keep rushing forward with your head first. I think he's yeah. got to mix it up a bit more. He's got to show more angles. He's got to confuse Sitamala. Right now, it's a bit obvious for what he's going to do, and I think Sitamala is able to oh, counter Oh, beautiful him. punch from Simela there. Almost command the ring himself. I think Simela right now is feeling very comfortable with the way he's fighting. He's going forward. I think you've seen that uh, Rajuli doesn't like the, 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 the pressure at all. Thanks, thanks, it's getting hot and hot inside the arena. I can okay. see Stimela okay. and Rajuli. Box. You know, Dishin does punches out. Oh, that's a great little one, too, from Sitamai. He, honestly, he's thrown some fantastic punches so far in this fight. One thing with Julie he's definitely shown is that he can take a punch. He, he, I mean, Sitamai has landed some really good, clean, punch, yes. hard shots, and you wonder. Um, if he can take that for the full 12 rounds. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you wonder if he can. I don't think you can take that for 12 rounds, but we'll, we'll see so far. I mean, he still looks fresh, I guess. Oh, he's landed another one since my left hook. There. He's running out of ideas here. I can clearly, you can see it in his face. He's running out of ideas. 
it is him running out of ideas or is this corner? But at the end of the day, we must also say the corner, are they running out of ideas to, 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 to go through it? Before punch them from Rajoli. Oh, good body shot. I don't know if Sitamala's cut because Rajuli's got blood is, on the back oh, and I wonder beautiful punches from I wonder if Sitamala is cut from his mouth, I don't know. I see a bit of head of the clutches, the, the clutches with the heads. This isn't Sitamala's type of fight, he's got to be careful, this rough, he's got to take a step back and land clean shots. He, he's trying to fight Rajuli's fight and I don't think he needs to. That's a couple he of great shots more, there from he, Sitamala he there though. Box. He must box Rajuli. Don't go there and, 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 and dish it out one, mix punches. There's time to mix punches when you say there. So what I see that Steven was to dish it out until the 12th round. And that doesn't happen at all. Beautiful right there from Ashuli. This is a tough fight, it really is. I mean, this is the type of fight that you will feel for weeks later. This is a really tough fight. This Both men are landing great shots. Beautiful fight. You see punches are fighting and throwing. The crowd are loving this fight. The crowd are really getting into it. The energy, in, energy inside this place right now is fantastic. The pace is higher. It's getting hard in heaven. This is the kind of fight Rajuni wanted. They said they want to take Sitamada into deep waters, and, and I guess that's what they're trying to do right now. He's never really. He's only been beyond five once. So we'll see how, how much his gas tank is and how well he's doing. And so far for me, he's won every round, but it's been really, really tight. Finally, it was really takes a seat. I'm guessing Finally. the ego and stuff is gone, but I'd like to see where this <laughs> cut on the on the back. I don't know if it's on the back of his head or his neck. And then a cut of Vaseline. So there's definitely there's definitely blood running down the back of his neck, and I don't know oh, I can where it's from. Ladies and gentlemen, well, um, let's see there again. After four rounds, the score of David from three judges, the first judge. David Rajuli, 39, Lungas Temela, 38. Second judge, David Rajuli, 36, Lungas Temela, 40. The third judge, David Rajuli, 38, Lungas Temela, 38. That's after four rounds. Official scorecard. This is very exciting. Points, scoring points. 39, 38, 36, 40, 38, 38. So by mine, my my maths, uh, uh, they've called that fight level so far. I mean, round number five is so close. I mean, it's 38 to 8. Big more punches. What are the judges watching? What are they watching? Arachuli going forward. I don't like that open scoring. Do you, do, you, do you like that open scoring? If you're a fighter, is it, <laughs> do, you, do you want to know or, or no? I don't know. It what? I, I would love to know if I'm, I'm ahead on points or I'm, I'm losing the fight, then maybe you can push me. Probably this now, you see, whoever's behind the points is going to push more. Yeah. You must remember also they do that now in the amateurs, you know, when they fight the Olympic style. They I do don't that. think title fights should have open scoring like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't agree with that. If you say the amateurs, they do that now. They, they, they open score, they tell you how, how far you are with the scoring card, you own the scoring card. I think this also, it pushes you to work harder. So, like, oh, I'm behind on points, let me push it. Strange. One one judge had it a draw, one a draw. for Sitamala, one for Arajuli. Well, yeah. All three, all three judges seeing stuff completely different. Oh, that's a great Beautiful. shot by Sitamala there. But what I think he's winning the fight, by the way, just to give you my own prediction. I think he's winning the fight. I, I've had him actually winning every round. They've been close. So it's probably not a true reflection of the fight, but I've had him winning every single round so far. I think oh, he's the cleaner punches, the better punches. There from Arajuli. Um, Julie now must come out of the corner. He's been left too long. Come up the corner, turn your opponent. By so doing that, he's just pushing him back. 
you must tell your opponent if you're in the, in, on the ropes. Don't push. You, you look at this round and you, you wonder if the, I don't know, the power's gone from Sitamala's punches. He's more, he's more tapping away than landing anything effective. Like nothing really power. Look, he's just tapping away. Um, interesting. Um, again, like we said, Sitamala's never gone this distance before. How would he do in a 12 round fight? We're finding out now. This is deep waters now for him. And we might have to see something a bit different. Because um, none of these shots now seem to be affecting Rajuli. That one was a good shot down the front pipe, though. And Rajuli's mouth is wide open now. He's breathing very heavily himself as well. He is feeling the heat now. It's only round number six that's feeling that draw. Then now it's getting hot. Rajuli's pushing. And Steve Miller also is sitting there pushing his punches. Oh. Again, that's a round for Sitamala for me. Um, Rajuli's bleeding from his mouth very badly. He's definitely got a cut in his mouth. Again, that's, that's a round for me, and, I, and people might complain watching at home, but that's a round for me for Sitamala again. I, I think um, he landed the cleaner shots. I, w I wonder if um, he's cut his tongue as well. But he's struggling to breathe. Um, he's definitely got a cut in the mouth somewhere, and that's going to affect him going on, because obviously the mouth wide open like that, he's going to struggle to breathe. Yeah, you must find the, the, the mouthpiece is, is tight for, 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 for his teeth. That's why he, 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 he didn't bite himself. But it happens in the ring. They throw an uppercut, you bite yourself. Especially if you fight open, you, your, mind, your mouth wide open. You do that. Let's see how he gets on in this round, round seven. Sitamala bouncing around. Um, oh, good shot there. Good shot from Rajuli, actually, from there. Tough, tough fight for both of these people in there. Both of these fighters are, are showing extreme gut, especially Rajuli. Rajuli's obviously got a terrible cut inside his mouth, so he's struggling to breathe. He's got his mouth open again, so he's showing a lot of bravery in there right now. Oh, good punish shot and good shot as well there from Sitamala. Went head, then body. Both landed. A beautiful right, left from Stimela there to Rajuli. You have to come off from the road, Rajuli. Don't stand there, because if you stand there, you're getting hit. Again, oh, a nice shot from Sitamani. He liked that one as well. He pulled his hand back to say, yep, yeah, I got you there. That's for all the tongue sticking you've been giving me at the end of each round. Take that one. Beautiful body punches from Rajuli there. And I see more opponents coming from um, uh, uh, Stimela. Sister Manis seems to land everything he throws. It might not be with power, but he lands everything. He doesn't miss many shots, doesn't waste a lot of shots either. He count, um, He does count his punches. That's what I say, when you're clever boxing, you must count your punches, how many punches you want to throw to your opponent. Don't just throw, you must sit in an open space, you put it there. This is a beautiful fight. No, no, it is a really good fight, and I hope our viewers at home are appreciating this action because it is fantastic. Both fighters are coming. Rajuli is very, very brave. So Tamala is probably the better boxer of the two, like I said. But Rajuli's still in there. He's keep coming forward, even with obviously what clearly is a cut in his mouth. He's coming forward. He's landing shots, but is it enough to win the round? That's the question. Is it enough? What do you think, Philip? You know, it, it, it might not be enough for the round to win go to go for further. But as you can see, it's round number seven. Probably not they feel the heat that you know, is hot here now, but every day is about who wants it more to win the title. And Rajuli is pushing more and more going forward. It's hot inside. Into the last 45 seconds of this one. And Sitamala, for me, looks in control, but again, Rajuli keeps on coming forward. It's not an easy fight for both men right now. And both, both fighters, to be fair, look like... There. Look, a little oomph has gone out of their punches for both fighters. I think on the inside there's someone getting punished so much with the punches on the inside. Beautiful hook comes to me. He must just come out the corner. Turn your opponent out. Come out the oh. corner. 
big goal for there as well from Sitamata there. A huge goal for there. He, he, he's very tight. Both men are very tight. Oh, cutting his mouth as well, cutting his nose. It's a tough fight for both men. Don't show you lie. Don't show you lie. Give him up. Corner just said there, don't show you're tired. So they know he's tired. They know he's not used to going this many rounds before. And yes, you can do it in sparring, but this is a real fight. It's different. He might have gone 12 rounds in sparring and, and more rounds and more rounds, but this is a real fight now and he's struggling. But the other thing I don't know, that I see, they don't, they're not telling you of their boxers what they're sitting down there, they must breathe in and out, because now is the break where you have to bring the new air inside there. They're not doing that. Oh, that beautiful punch there. Beautiful uppercut. Oh, Tamara, he does land beautiful combinations. I just don't know if he's got enough power What's in those combinations right now as we go into round eight to get rid of Rajuli. But in terms of scoring punches, they're beautiful scoring punches. Steve Miller is going forward again. Don't want to go back. Say, let's deal this out. Remember, it's open scoring here um, for this ABU South lightweight title, which means that after this round, they'll read the scoring out as well. It's interesting to see who, who, who they're going to have in head. Before it was a split decision, they had one had it a draw, and one had it for um, Sitamala, and the other one had it for Rajuli in terms of the judges. So it'll be good to see who they've got now. I've got, I've got Sitamala up, but it'll be interesting to see how they're scoring the fight. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. You know, Stimela is pushing more and more. He's going fo forward. He wants to end this fight. Brad Julie, what do you have to do now? You have to stay outside, protect himself every time. But he's not, he's not doing that. When Brad Julie comes inside, he wants to dish it out. He wants to make the punches. Before a card there from Brad Julie. Oh, that's on a fantastic top shot from Sitamala. Best shot of the round so far. And he tries to follow up again as well. That was a beautiful shot. That's what he needs to do more of. I think Rajudi's there for the taking, but Sitamala needs to throw a lot more of that. Stipula must throw more four punches, three punches, two punches at a time to, to, to make sure that um, Rajuli uh, goes back. Beautiful punches there from Stipula. Telling him. Nice little uppercut there from Sitamara as well. Again, good shots. Is the Rajuli going to take this punishment to the 12th round? That's my question. He has to change the strategy now. What to use? You can't just go forward without throwing more punches. Go forward, throw punches, four punches, five punches. That's better. The snap has completely gone from Rajuli's punches. Oh, oh he missed there. turned him very well and just missed. Beautiful. But the snap's ten. gone from Rajuli's punches now. He is. It, it does look like he's throwing, but believe you me, Rajuli. being this close to ringside, it, there's no effect on those punches at all. No power on those punches. So, oh, beautiful shot from Sitamala there. That really hurt. That really hurt Rajuli. Another beautiful, beautiful shot. You know, shot again. Sitamala is definitely on top here. He is hitting him. He's throwing tongs. Good shot against, go head, body, head, body, Sitamala. That's the amateur round. experience. He's tired as well, the Sitamala is. He breathes again. But so far, great round for Sitamala. Definitely winning this fight. Let's go back and see if we can see some of the action from that, that round there. Oh, look at the uppercut there from Sitamala. It's just beautiful work from him. I think this is the big one that Look he lands. At that. Look at beautiful that. Oh, beautiful right. shot. See, oh, Rajuli's eyes rolled back there as well. That, that oh. really took effect of him. I have a lot of respect for these two boxers, but they see it out. The punches, the easy clean punches that are coming in. Always. Oh, another beautiful shot from Sitamala. And all these were in the last 20, 30 seconds of that fight as well. Oh, oh beautiful that's left a shot there. there. Rajuli, for him to still stand on that fight, that was a beautiful shot. Box. 
Rajuli is going forward, is going forward always, punishing Raju, um, Timela. I thought we were going to get the open scoring there. We didn't get the open scoring, uh, which is interesting. I think we're going to get it after this round, round nine. Rajuli is moving back always. Futwek is working for him. Oh, I think rajuli has got a bad cut and right in the middle, he's right on the forehead Beautiful. here. He's lucky he's in that position, so it won't, the blood won't roll into his eye, but he might need to look at that cut. I think the referee's going to look at that cut. Let's have a look. I think he will. Yeah, as I thought, the referee's going to have a look at that cut. It's a nasty little cut right on the top oh, of this foot. They've asked for the doctor. Oh, They've asked for the doctor to come in. Let's have a look. What's going on? Here? Okay, they are, have they asked for the doctor? Let's have a look. Okay, referee's having a look at it. Okay, referee just cleaned it up, um, but he's going to look at that again. Um, it will open up again that cut, so um, he really might need to put a move on right now because he, he don't want to. He don't want to fight to be stopped on a cut. He has to put his hands up every time and move his head every time, and he must make sure that his jab is working for him to stop. Still managed to coming forward. Beautiful punches from Stimela then, you know, for clinching them. But Julie is throwing beautiful punches, heavy punches. That's better from that of Julie. He landed, he, he landed, for, that's probably the first meaningful shot he's landed in a couple of rounds, but as soon as he lands, Sutamana lands one or two back just to say, look, if you do you land that, I'll, I'll land more on you. You know, he's counting his punches every time when he throws them, every time. He's count, counting them. He throw two, he counts back, throws four. Beautiful jab. Beautiful jab, uppercut this. Tamala just looks so comfortable. I mean, look, Dev Rajuli's trying his best, and you know, he's rushing forward, his head down, he's slugging away, but Tamala just looks quite comfortable in there. And it's weird because he's the one that's called the pressure cooker. Yeah. So he'd almost meant to do the opposite way around, but he looks really good, looks comfortable on his toes. He's right in front of us here in the commentary booth, and he's just on his toes. Look, body shot, head shot. That head shot was really powerful as well. Just, oh, just right, moves away again. He's throwing punches left and right. Back from David Rajuli there, though. He's doing very beautiful now, then. That's Rajuli. Steven to come out from the corner. Beautiful punches from both, of, both boxers, Timela and Rajuli. They're exchanging those punches. Beautiful exchange of punches. It's weird, the crowd are making so much noise, but not much landed there. <laughs> not much landed. <laughs> David Rajuli. Just spat out a lot of blood. They might need to look at this in the corner for Dan Rajuli. That's a, that's a lot of blood coming out of his mouth. And that cut looks like it could be very, very dangerous. Um, um, have a look if we can look into David Rajuli's corner and have a look at that and see. Let's have a look at this. Look, look he's not even really paying attention to his corner right now. Look at this. Oh. A lot of blood there. It's a bad cut. A bad cut. Oh. Again, it's the ABU, you know, stuff like yeah, title. It's a very important title, as I said earlier. It puts them in position for WBC rankings. So it's, yeah. it's a very, very important belt. So these are the things, these are the adversities you've got to go through, right, Philip? You know, this belt is opening uh, ways for them, doors for them to fight for the for, for the big titles of the world, the WBC, the BFs, and I believe that you know what, whoever now win this fight of tonight is now go up there. The scores just a Box. 78 Box. to 76 for David Rajuli. Judge B 73 79 for Lunga Sitemela. And Judge C 77 to 75 for David Rajuli. What? <laughs> no, no, that's absolutely ridiculous scoring. I can't believe that David Rajuli is winning this fight. We don't I can't look, believe that. The judges no, 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 are seeing no, a different no, fight. No, it's absolutely ridiculous. No. 
absolutely ridiculous scoring. I can't believe that, honestly. The judges, are they, they're watching the fight closely. We watch it closely. No. We know who's winning the foul from points, but we don't know what the judges are thinking there. Honestly, um, you, you want to say to Lunga, you know, <laughs> Lunga Sutamala, if, if you're his corner man, you want to say, okay, you're losing the fight, do more, but he's doing everything. He's yeah. winning the fight. He's winning the fight. I don't know. He's landed the cleaner shots. He, he's the one that's hurt and buckled with Judah Aaron. Wow. wow. Right, Julie's throwing wow. a barrel punches to Stimela there. Nice punches that's coming from Rachel. Beautiful punches that's throwing Rachel there. It's not giving him a breath at all. Judy does seem to, he's coming forward more, but he's not landing anything clean. It's Sitamala that seems to be Sitamala landing the cleaner work. Beautiful punches. So I guess if you're a judge, what do you like? Do you like come, the come forward stuff of Rajudi or do you like the cleaner work and the, the cleaner, crisper punch of Sitamala? That's the question, you know, we have to ask ourselves which punches are more scoring thinner punches or punches that are, you know, be kept on the air. But this very exciting fight for these two uh, champions, they are throwing punches, they, they, they're changing levers. They're exchanging levers. It's into round 10 here, last minute. Both are extremely tired. Beautiful fight, really. Um. Lungusha Tamala needs to get off the ropes. He can't stand the ropes like that and take punishment because obviously that's the way the judges are scoring against him. Um, when he's yeah. on the ropes. And well, although Julie is throwing low punches there. Top punches, he's on the ropes. He's throwing like again and hook at the inside. Steve Miller must just make sure that he's out of the ropes. He must use his jab. He's the tall, I can see the least advantage he can use. He's taller. Why don't you use your jab? Put your opponent away from you. I think round 10 jabs are out of the window. This is just this is just toe-to-toe -to -toe war now. This is a belt that's up. You guys have just got to suck it up. There's six more I minutes after that. this. You've got to suck it up and keep going, but fantastic fight. It is hot inside the um, Adel. But as you can see already, it's round number 10. They're breathing heavily and heavily every time. But hey, they did it out. It'd be really good if we could listen to um, Sitamala's corner, especially after that scorecard, and see what they're going to say to him. They seem calm and composed. For someone that's just heard that his fighters losing, they seem very calm and composed in the corner. Um, they have time to push more now. He's in the corner, give it everything, end it now. Let's see what he can do, because it seems like he might need to get the stoppage to win, which is, I find a bit of a travesty, but it seems like that might be the case. You have to, he needs a stoppage now, because we know that he's behind on points. So you have to go there and ditch all the punches now. Okay, here we go, round 11. Um, let's see what Sitamali can do. His corner said, go out there and stop it now. Let's see. Does have that? Oh, that great air. shot from Sitamala. Great Beautiful two punches shots. from Stimela. But not it is, the crowd don't make noise when Sitamala lands shots. And I, I do think the crowd does influence <laughs> a judge. No, it's very true. Because every time Rajuli lands, the crowd goes wild. Sitamala lands, you don't really hear much. And I, you know, little things like that, look, they're human, the judges, aren't they? And little influences like that. And you kind of wonder, are the crowd influencing the judges? I think it happens like that when the, the crowd goes, wow! It's just like, yeah, 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 well, yeah. That's a fantastic shot again from Sitamala. This is round number 11. We see that the two vigilant, you know, the exchanging punches. And the referee's warning that don't hold the last time. To Stimela. Stimela, there's trying to jab, but it's not working. Screaming, box him, box, box him. Box him, don't go they too low. They know he's the better boxer of the two. They're just screaming, box him, don't, use your boxing skills. Don't go and exchange punches, but you can see that this guy, if you exchange, is overpowering, overpowering you with the, with the big punches. So another good shot from Sitamala. Great combination with Sitamala as well. Great overhand right into the body, into the head. Oh, good shot from Sitamala. Good stuff, good action. Rajuli holds there, he's hurt there. Rajuli holds. 
referee breaks them up, but you can tell Rajuni, Rajuni looked hurt from that combination there. It's hot inside there, Adin. It's very hot. It's round number 11. Rajuli and Stimela. Did she doubt? Last minute of round 11 here. So tomorrow, I think, probably done enough to win this round, but he needs to do a bit more in the judges' eyes. Maybe he needs to throw more punches, so he needs to still keep working in this round to win this one. Steven and Rajuli dishing out the punches. Rajuli have to throw more punches. Was this jumping, 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 jumping without throwing punches? Oh, good stuff from Sitsamara there. Good. Goes to the body, goes to the head. Rajuli does counter there with a right himself, but seems to be hurt from that body shot, I think. Seems to be tucking his left arm down underneath. I think he got hurt from that body shot. Rajuli looks a bit tired. Run number 11. And when the heat is inside there, he's feeling it. Beautiful Honestly, punch I from don't know how there. the judges are seeing this from Rajuli, but we'll see. In the fight, because all I'm seeing is Hitamala pressuring. Look, he's doing everything now. Pressure, pressuring, he's pushing him on his back foot. Beautiful punch. Great combination. Great, great, great action from Hitamala there. And that's a great round. One more round to go in this one. Let's see if we can listen in again to Hitamala's corner. He thinks they've won it. They're saying don't get caught in this round. So they think they might have won this fight. Um, they've got to be very careful. I, I hope they don't make him fight on the back foot thinking that he's won and can maybe just take a round off. But from what we heard in the judges' scorecard, they've got it very, very close. This is the last round, I tell you. It's when I have to go and throw everything out from your ear. Throw every punch that you can. This Let's is have a look round. at some of the action from that round and see some of the great punches that both were throwing. Oh, that's a great right there from, from Sitamala. Sitamala. Beautiful body punch from Simila again. And a nice right again to the head. Okay, um, this is the final round of what's been what's been a fantastic fight. I did say uh, this would probably be my fight of the night, and so far it's proven it's been a fantastic fight. And here we go, last round. Crowd is screaming behind me and chanting. David, David, David. Memories from last Durban, fight. he's a local fighter. Um, but so far, great action from both. Beautiful punches from Rajuli there. Similar turning Rajuli to the ropes. Beautiful jab again, punches from Rajuli then. And Steven is turning Rajuli back to the ropes, pull them there again. I can't, I'm trying to actually remember, it was a 12 round fight, I can't actually remember a time when Sitamano actually looked in, in, in serious any trouble. When, when Rajudi landed a clean shot. Not really. Oh, he looked buckled. I can't remember. I can remember Rajudi being hurt on numerous occasions. So again, um, those scorecards are quite um, contradictory of what I'm seeing. But again, it's what you like, isn't it? But now, you see now, this round now, uh, Stimulus working more hard. Oh, good shot from Chisimala. That, that was a tough shot. Stimulus throwing more punches again. Punches Rajudi now. turns him around, though. He's throwing heavy punches, Simela to Rajuli. Oh, another good shot from Sitamala. <laughs> Steven's going forward now, boys. You know, this is the last round, it's do or die. For someone that's never gone past round, I think, six, they said before, Sitamala's done very well, very, very well, well to go to 12 rounds. Very well. He deserves hand of a ball. Beautiful punches from Simela there. Rachuli looks tired, but he's throwing punch, one punch at a time. Last minute here of what's been an amazing, an amazing fight. Remember, they're fighting for the vacant ABU South Lightweight Championship. David Rajuli from here in Durban, Lunga Sitamala, almost like considered the away fighter, really. This is a beautiful um, fight. Yeah, it's a fantastic fight. Lunga Sitamala looking good in this last round. If you want to Ten really win a last left. round, this is how you do it. Ten seconds left now for the fight to Both of them end. extremely tired, and you can see why. 12 rounds of 
action from, from the first, first round. This has been really good. Beautiful team of close there. There goes Timmel again, Timmel again with the beautiful punches. Rachuli just putting his hands up. Remember, we've still got more action to come after this. Cristiano Mbassi. He makes the first defense of his ABU South Superweight Championship. He takes on the very experienced and former WBF international champion, Norman Shibikani. Remember, that's still got more action to go. So make sure you don't tune out after this one, because we've still got another super oh. title fight for you. And that's the end of this one. Beautiful round. Wow. Beautiful fight, Ajay. Wow. What I a keep, fight that was. I keep a what bow. A fight. I give a bow to both boxers. They did very well. It's a bow. Average really puts his hands up. He goes, he goes to both corners, does whatever as you He thinks he's win. The crowd are going crazy. Julie's going to every single corner, putting his hands up. The crowd are loving that. Again, little things like that influence the judges. He's up on his toes. They think he's won. He's up in here. They think, I don't think he's won personally, but they do think he's won. Uh, you never know. Let's wait for the scoring cut. Who do you think won that fight, Philip? This fight. You are putting me in the corner now. I can see it already. <laughs> this fight was very close. Um, I'll give the fight to... Rajuli. You thought Rajuli won that fight? I'll give it to him with one point, two points. Wow. But let's see. I might be wrong. How? How did you score all right. the fight that you gave it to Rajuli? I might be wrong or, 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 or right. But the, the two people they were dishing out and they did what they had to do in the ring there. But I don't know what the judges they put the scores. Stimela, he might be a might be a new champion here. Oh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna sit on any fence. I thought um Stimela, I thought Sitamela won the won fight. And I actually thought he won it by a few rounds. I didn't think it was as close as uh, as that. I, I think he maybe won that by four or five rounds, but Again, it's what do you like as a judge? What do you like as a fighter? I like the cleaner work of Sitamala. There they've got the beautiful ABU South Lightweight title in the ring. And who, who takes that home? Who wins it? I guess we're going to soon find out in a minute. Hold on, my boys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember, up next, Cristiano and Mbasse, the warrior, faithful god from Angola. He takes on Norman Shibakani. They fight for the, well, the, well, it's his first defense, sorry, of his ABU Super Southweight Championship title. A, a title that he won at the Wild Coast um, earlier on this year. Can he defend his first title? Can he make a successful first defense? We'll find out in a few minutes. Am I do it. I like that. What they just said there in the ring, um, the trainers just said to each other, whoever wins, we're happy to do a rematch. That's a beautiful... Yeah, happy wins. It's easy to say now. But after that? When you take that belt home, I don't think you're going to want to do that again. No, like no ways. I have to go somewhere. Let's see this I am one. very, very interested in this decision. I want to... Scores it down, so yeah. Okay, let's hand over to our MC with a decision. Um, who is the new South Lightweight Champion? We'll find out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this terrific, terrific contest brought to you proudly by Calacora Promotions was on Quesa Sports Friday Fight Night. And this was for the ABU South Lightweight vacant championship and it was scheduled for 12 rounds and it went 12 rounds and the boxers were on fire <laughs> and we go to the judges scorecards and we have a majority decision judge eric koza Scores this contest 115 to 116. Judge Ben Napai 
seize it, 112 to 112. And our third and correction, 112, 116. And our third and final judge, Sipo Zondo, seize it, 114 to 114. All in favor of your winner by unanimous points decision, by majority decision, and the new ABU South lightweight champion, Lunga Citanella. Wow, um, I don't want to say I told you so, but. I told you so. No, oh, look, both of them put up a fantastic performance. Um, I thought Lunga Sitamana did win it by four, and, and that kind of what a few of the other judges saw as well. But look, it was a fantastic performance, and I think I think the rematch can happen again. I think they spoke about it in the ring, a possible rematch between the two. Philip, you thought Rajui took it. Um, so did other judges as well. Um, good fight, though. A good fight, well indeed. They did very well, both of them. But I see a rematch, like the trainers, they're already saying, rematch is on happen. What a fantastic fight, though, and what a good advert for um, African boxing that was. Both of those 12 rounds, all action. And I hope our viewers at home really appreciate the fight, because that's a fantastic fight. I know the, the crowd here definitely appreciated it. And um, we've still got more action to come. Remember, we've got Christian and Mbassi. He takes on Norman Shibakan in the first defense of his ABU South Super welterweight title. That's right after this one. And that should be a cracking fight as well.